Yo, what's good, so, um, let me start off by saying, first of all, it's 5 in the morning, as I clearly see in the bottom right, it's 5 in the morning, it might sound a little tired, and stuff, I've just been going crazy with the videos and stuff, recording all of them tonight, but, uh, what's it called, I want to first mention that I have launched my channel memberships, it's like 2 $3 a month and stuff, y'all can for sure cop that, it's, you should see a join button, uh, next to, like, where like the subscribe and like button is and all that stuff where you like the video and subscribe and everything which i definitely should do and stuff y'all see a join button y'all can definitely join the channel get access to all my scripts and models any script from any video you want whatever the case may be early access to stuff uh behind the scenes stuff polls on what i should do like new content ideas and stuff whatever the case a lot of other stuff too honestly just for trying to be hard to remember all of it plus i'm still doing stuff but anyway let me get straight into the video so the point of the video, uh, I'm going to, damn, I ain't gonna, I, I look, forgot I'm not going to watch y'all, um, what, 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 was I gonna, what was I gonna say, uh, oh, yes, team seems, okay, this is an updated version of my tutorial I made a f back in February, um, on the teams and stuff, updated version, uh, someone in my comment section had made a comment and stuff that kind of, like, suggested, uh, making an update. Well, no, they literally told. They literally, well, not told me, but they literally asked me to. So yeah, pretty much a suggestion to um make an updated version. Which after rewatching the video and stuff, I was like, yeah, yeah, I could definitely make. I could definitely make a easier team changing uh a uh, system as well as I think I didn't explain all that well. So this is the updated version. Uh, pretty much part two or updated version. No, it's not part two. Part two is like you're adding on stuff. This is the updated version. But anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so y'all know what teams are in Roblox and stuff, right? Y'all know different teams. Usually you got like two teams. Sometimes you may have four, rare cases three. Sometimes, yeah, you may have like five, six, whatever the case may be. Usually it's just like two, sometimes four. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to create two teams, right? The red team and the blue team. Actually, I'm going to create three teams. So one team will be the neutral team. So neutral, they're gonna be auto assignable. Auto assignable pretty much means uh when it's like when there's a check mark, when it's enabled, that means this team will be auto assigned when a player upon a player joining the game. So you want this to be your neutral team. Or if you want it to be where like a player joins the game and they're automatically on that whatever team you want them to be on, that is that is the team you have auto assignable enabled, right? You should only have auto assignable enabled for one team, right? Then I'm gonna change the color to uh where's um the um the, uh, the, the the thing uh like it's like a gray yeah medium stone gray right and then i'm gonna make the red team then of course make their team color red i'm going to disable auto assignable for both then i'm gonna make the blue team as well right blue team make the team color blue that simple right then i'm gonna have spawns for all the teams this will be the neutral this would be the neutral spawn right so as you guys can see there are options with spawn locations right there are options with spawn locations uh here's the team's options so you can allow team change which pretty much means uh what's it called if a player touches it and uh say like this is the neutral spawn right if a player was to was to walk over it it would change their team to the neutral team unless they're already on the neutral team that it would pretty much change their team to whatever the spawn locations team is pretty much right then you can check it as neutral, which means pretty much uh, if a person is on the neutral team stuff, then they would spawn there. Pretty much. But obviously, you don't want to have this check. Neutral is pretty much for like when you don't have any teams at all and stuff. And either you have no teams or none of the teams you have are auto assignable. Roblox will automatically create a neutral team and put a player on it. So that's what that's for, right? But what you want to do is set the team color to match the um the team color uh what's it called i'm gonna change this color actually you want the team color to match the uh color of the team so medium stone gray right and then i'm going to make two other spawns of course by just clicking it and pressing control d twice duplicate it so in the middle will be neutral uh make this red so this would be red spawn this will be neutral spawn and this will be blue spawn right there you go spawns have been set up okay now i'm going to get into the gui portion 
So head on over to Stutter GUI and insert a screen GUI. You can name this GUI Team Changer GUI. Then you can insert a button, put it like right bottom left, about right there. Y'all can name this Team Changer button, right? And then you can scale the text, make the text rich, and then you can change the text to uh, team selection, I guess. Team selection, right? Change it to whatever you want, though. And y'all can customize the text whatever way you want. I'm gonna just make the background color like, just make it like, uh, I guess like a gray, like, yeah, like a gray type of color. And then I'm, uh, yeah, I kind of want it to be a little bright so I can actually read it. Okay, there we go. Team selection, right? Then insert a server script into the team changer button, right? Or actually, no, no, no. Have the script in the GUI, sorry, right? Make sure it's a server script, right? So pretty much the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do script dot parent dot team changer button. The mouse button one click colon connect function close parentheses. Then I'm gonna do script. Wait, actually I forgot. Uh, name the script, of course. Uh, just team change the script. And one more thing, gonna go ahead and insert a frame, right? Y'all can name this team change your frame. Uh, you can really put this like in the middle of your screen. You like kind of in the middle of your screen. That's something like that in the middle of your screen. Y'all can name this team change your frame. Team changer frame, right? So this uh button will pretty much enable it. So do script dot parent dot team changer frame dot visible equals to script dot parent dot team changer frame dot visible equals oh sorry equals not and stuff this pretty much means it'll do the opposite of the current status if if uh the frame is not visible it'll set the visible and the vice versa right so pretty much um then I want the frame to uh, have a UI grid, so it just automatically sorts uh, the stuff. Then you can insert a text button, right? So pretty much you could change the, the uh, size of the buttons to whatever you want, uh, make it like 50. Then of course, I'm gonna customize the button for each one, right? So I'm just like a red team button. Okay, so the frame is 374, okay. Uh, I think like 55 or like 57. Yeah, pretty much just change it until you get it to how you like it pretty much. That's that's all you need to really do to be honest. And then I'm gonna extend this out. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do like 170. Yeah, like 170, right? Oh, well, let me change that a little bit, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, one eighty. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna do one eighty or no? I'm gonna do one eighty. Okay, one eighty four. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do one eighty four and then have the pad. Actually, no, that's actually pretty good. And then I'm just. Oh, I can't even do that. All right, down. Hmm. I'm glad that like that little that little bit is honestly bothering me. It didn't really matter. Anyway, um, so name this red button or nah, red team button, I guess. Red team button, right? Then you of course change the text to red team. I, I, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Red team. Scale the text. Right, that's the red team button. Then this, of course, is the blue team button. Push text, scale the text. Uh, then I'm going to make the background blue, obviously. Right, and then name this blue team button. That's simple. Right now, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this. So. Since they're uh, part inside the frame, pretty much when I click the button, it will either make them uh, appear or disappear, right? Um, so pretty much I'm gonna do it like this. So script dot actually no, let me use a four I v impairs. So four i comma v impairs. 
Then we do script dot parent dot team changer frame colon get children. Do if v is a frame. I mean, sorry, not a frame. Text button. Like I told y'all, it is five. It's five in the morning. I'm, my eyes is honestly. I, I don't even. Never mind. Anyway, so pretty much gonna make sure it's a text button. If it is a text button, then pretty much um, I'm going to change the player's team based on that, right? So I can get the local player by doing well, not local player, but getting the player. So player is equal to script dot parent. Oh, sorry, script dot parent, which is its GUI dot parent, which would be the player's GUI, then dot parent, which would be as you can see data model the player. Right, so then pretty much I'm gonna do um player dot teams um, wait wait yeah player dot teams dot wait I don't know why it's that's so weird anyway player dot team is equal to game dot teams um I don't think there's really a way uh yeah I think there's a way Mm. Yeah, I, could, I mean, I could have if statements. No. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm going to just, I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to just change the names. I'm going to just make this red team. Make this blue team. Right? I'm just changing the names like this. So pretty much player.team is equal to game.teams is equal to, uh, Game dot teams uh, for child v dot name, and this will pretty much make it so my team changes. But that's not visible. Click play. I should by default spawn in the middle spawn, and I should be on the neutral team. Or did I jump out this guy? Wait, why am I on the? Wait, did I? I'm confused now. Let me blue. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm confused now. Why am I on the blue team? That does not make sense. Wait, oh, wait, wait. I might have the neutral part wrong. Not gonna lie, I might have the neutral part wrong. Oh, oh, okay, sorry, I had the neutral part wrong, but I don't know why I'm on the blue team. Why is it putting me on the red and the blue team? I don't, I don't understand. Neutral auto assignable. Auto assignable. I'm confused. Why would it assign me to the teams that I don't? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Let me try doing the opposite. I don't know what it. I honestly don't know what it's doing. Why does it. Okay. That's weird. You are now. On, That is so weird. Wait, really red? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait huh? I can keep it out change this class. Really red. Um. Oh, I forgot to change the colors. I'm not sure if that has something to do with it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see why it would, but I don't know. Maybe that might have been why. Okay. So I'm spawning at the correct team now, but for some reason, it's auto assigning me to the blue team for some reason. Which doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why it's assigning me to the blue team. Yeah, like it's supposed to be on the red. What is going on? I'm confused. Is it the script or is it? Yeah, honestly, I'm trying to figure it out. Is it the script or is it? Okay, so so it's the script then. Oh, 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 my, oh! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. See, th this is why I need to stop recording videos. After that. When it's late, this is the problem. I just realized what I put. I put an if statement, but I didn't put a function. Oh, oh yes, of course, of course, of course. Okay. So, 
all right so got to do v dot sorry v dot if v is a text button then okay then v dot mouse button one click colon connect function close parentheses enter then put this in between okay i'm so sorry guys i was so confused i was like what the going on like no my eyes like no i'm sorry anyway okay so i'm on the neutral team i'm at the neutral spot if i click team selection i go up the red team i switch to the red team if i click blue team i switch to the blue team and yeah you could also have a neutral button and stuff um to kind of add a little bit more to it uh i can have it i can uh also put this here so it disables it as well as uh move the character over to the player spawn just in case anyone wants to do that so do game dot workspace find first child player dot name then character this one not auto fill by the way move to um game dot workspace uh wait uh oh jeez um yeah okay yeah that would have to differ you know what? never mind for, for, forget it, forget it. If, you, if you're curious to know if you're curious to know how you would do that just let me know in the comments and stuff i'm just like eh, it's not really it's not really worth it but anyway so yeah so if i click it uh the ui will not close by the way so yeah that's simple that's how you make a switching teams if you want to have it to where you can have a neutral uh button you can also put that in stuff yeah very simple uh like i said uh i've started channel memberships so if you guys want to join click the join button down below so two three dollars a month so i get access to a whole bunch of stuff scripts uh you got access to scripts models of your choosing um i'm gonna do polls to see what content y'all want to see get ideas from y'all and all that type of stuff and i appreciate all the love and support y'all been showing me and stuff and yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys